polarity and polarity test on our steel wire armoured cable. This time we're concerned about getting the polarity correct at both ends. Because we know the route between the metal clad isolator and the metal clad consumer unit is bridged by both the steel wire armoured and the individual conductor being the black one within the steel wire armoured cable, we need to make sure that we haven't got them mixed up. Example being that we're using black as protective conductor here and neutral as grey and likewise at this end. To overcome that problem, we're going to this time disconnect our, our protective conductor inside the metal clad consumer unit, link up our tails line and CPC and test between our disconnected protective conductor and our line connection here, removing the armour in which bridges the two gaps, helping us prove the correct polarity of the conductors. We can operate both the double pole switch, linked main switch, and remove the fuse in order to prove polarity. Instrument setup is shown on a previous video, and we're ready to prove continuity. So we go on the top of the line, and onto our protective conductor, and we've got 0.22. We can now operate the main switch. Circuit is now isolated, we can turn it back on. Partly proving polarity due to the fact it's a double pole switch, we need to know it's the line conductor that we're breaking, so we can remove the fuse. Circuit is now open, and we can close it again by inserting the fuse. We've now proved polarity by operating the switch and removing the fuse, but we've proved that the protective conductor from the isolator to the consumer unit is continuous as well, and we've not got the armoured one in, we've checked the polarity as well as we stated before previously. Thank you.